Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my new video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Irina and I'm here. My intention is to simplify your life as much as possible by giving you insights about life, uh, about anything, name it. Uh, and everything that I'm sharing with you is based on my experience, knowledge, education and simply I want to share with you things for free in order to help. Not saying that uh, any of these that you should be living like this or this is not a unique recommendation, it's simply some guidance uh, for simplifying your life. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome again! I'm so happy to have you here again. Mm, thank you for sticking around. And these are things that you already know. There is no some quick remedies or some magical things that I, I'm talking about, all those things that I'm talking about you already know, but sometimes we need to be reminded of certain things and you will feel that you simply resonate with those things that I'm talking about because um, we are programmed from day one and we've been taught, uh, taught so many things that simply have no real purpose in life, I must say that. And no one taught us how to love ourselves, no one taught us uh, how to, some practical things in life to help us, to guide us through life. Simply, uh, we've been programmed from day one to please others, to follow some uh, things without common sense. Simply by uh, working with people on a daily basis and relationships, uh, I can see that um, many um, think of love in one way and they experience it in another way. And again, this has to do uh, with things that we've been taught. Even though you um, think of love in one way, but you experience it in another, or maybe you read about love in one way and you, you're asking yourself, oh my God, how is it even possible that I'm not living this? So, <laughs> because you can read about love like magic or fairy tales, and all, but you experience it as something completely different. It is because of that, you know, because people simply settle for th things that are not love and they think there is no true love, you can only find those things in movies or fairy tales. No dear, that's the reason why you don't experience the true love because you settle for something that is not love. Okay, like I said, and just to remind you of things that you already know. Sadly, many label love differently from what they think of love. Many will say love, many will say I love you without truly feeling and meaning it just because it sounds nice, just because they have hidden agenda. Many will call love, oh my god, strange ways, something, sometimes extreme ways that has nothing to do with love. Many will stay in relationships without love and they will think, oh, at least I have someone. Oh, at least I don't go to bed alone. Oh, at least I'm not alone. And that's not love. Many will jump into relationships without, for sake of it, just to be with someone without feeling love, just because they are afraid to be alone. Many will change partners instead of start uh, to start changing themselves. Many will rush love because their parents expect from them to get married or society because they have reached certain age. So they will rush love, they will start a families without feeling that they want to. They will do all of these things automatically without asking themselves what they truly want. Is this the love that they are dreaming about? Because we live what we believe in. And if they did ask themselves, is this the love that they truly want? For sure they wouldn't settle for something less that they think they deserve. But people do things automatically just because others expect from them to do those things. And that's the problem with relationship nowadays. People either settle or they make weak connections. Either way, they don't feel satisfied, they don't feel fulfilled. So as a consequence, they simply have very superficial relationships and usually 
that you cheat on each other. I will say this and this maybe it will sound like a slap to your face and maybe this should be slapped to your face because for many this should be a wake-up call. I want to remind you that you will live the love that you think you deserve. So if you live your love like your mother, father, family, society or friends are expecting from you to live it, then you deserve it. If you live your love up to other people's expectations, again, you deserve it. But I will remind you again, you deserve love that you dream of. You deserve nothing less but the love that you give in the first place. So think, is this the love that you live? If you settle for less than you give, if you live to please others, if you live to fulfill expectations from someone else, then again, you deserve it, dear. The choice is yours. Don't hide behind uh, excuses because um, the only thing that you don't experience true love is because you settle for something that is not love. And that is such a common problem nowadays. So dear, be very mindful what you are accepting because when you choose your partner, that's one of the biggest decisions in your life because choosing your partner will affect you, your energy, your life, your present moment, your future, everything. Be very mindful uh, who you give your love to, please. If you think that it's impossible to live the love you want, no, it is not impossible. You should be asking yourself, do you give the same as you expect from other people? What do you accept for love? If you think that true and great love only exists in books, movies or fairy tales, no dear. Or if you think that they don't exist, ask yourself, is it because you accepted the less than this? I will remind you again that we live what we believe in. So if you believe that true love doesn't exist, then what do you expect? And ask yourself, is it because you settled and you think that's something normal, that's life, because your parents live that way, because your neighbor live that way, so you think, oh, it's normal, that kind of relationships are normal, so I must be, you know, do something correct. Again, dear, don't focus on other people, don't live up to other people's expectations, don't compare yourself to others. You should be asking yourself, what does love mean to you? and be that love you wish to have in your life and accept nothing less. At the end of the day, what matters is to feel loved. So, whether you are in a relationship or marriage or not, ask yourself always, do you feel loved? And is this the love that you truly want? Okay, if you're not in a relationship, of course, that you ask, you shouldn't ask yourself, is this the love that you <laughs> truly want? But you should be working on yourself to love yourself and to be that person you wish to have in your life and accept nothing less. You can even write it down, that is the best thing, the list of the things that you give or uh, the list of the things that you expect from one relationship. Not unrealistic uh, expectations from people, but uh, you know, relationship, what kind of love do you want, what kind of uh, relationship you would like to have and accept nothing less. And I know that we live in a world where many people simply um, settled for things so you will think, oh, there is no true love for me. And that's the reason why, but don't be one of them who settled for things that are not love. Rather be alone and be satisfied with being alone than spending your time in a relationship that simply drain you. Love shouldn't drain you. Relationships are not easy, but love should feel easy. Love is there to help you when life gets hard. And those connections that when you meet your true love, they don't happen often, you know. So you must think, people also think, oh, they give up because they think there is no true love. They can't happen very often, otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Imagine that you feel connection with every person that you see on the street. No, it is impossible. But uh, I can assure you that there is so many 
extraordinary love waiting for you out there but it will happen only if you don't settle if you wait for something that simply is not ordinary because love is not ordinary don't be one of those people who settle and later say oh there is no true love there only exists in fairy tales dear you're creating your fairy tale okay and you believe you live what you believe in and don't say other people as well that they have unrealistic expectations just because you settled for something that is not love and you simply have lost your faith in love don't um, discourage other people just because you settled for something that is not love don't be one of those persons um, I just want to encourage you to think for yourself to define what love does mean to you to be that love that you wish to have in your life and to see what kind of relationship you want I said write it down and accept nothing less but don't have you know um, expectations from other people to fulfill that list and you don't give the same you should be giving in the, uh, the same in the first place if you want to receive the same okay so always question your beliefs and always ask yourself is this the love that you truly want to live your answer will and should tell you what to do next and i'm here just to remind you that you deserve true love and that true love does exist if you believe that it's not exi that it doesn't exist then i can't help you it's up to you every single time you're choosing your life and you're choosing what kind of love you deserve just don't complain okay i will continue to love you and to remind you of things that you already know <laughs> and till my next video i will let you think about this